Let me make sure we're live here. I think we're live. Are we live? Uh, looks like it. Let me just make sure YouTube is up and running. <laughs> I think it is. Let me take a look. See. like it hello 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 Now normally I wouldn't make a stream like this, but if Train Simulator is last American thing that they shit out a couple of months ago, the Arizona Divide is any maker of their track record, then this is going to be fun. I was watching the uh, Train Simulator stream earlier where they were showing off the new Tehacopee uh, route. You know, I just realized something. This might be better if I actually have this installed instead of just starting the game. We're not off to a great start. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. I am so sorry. I completely forgot to actually install it first. Yes, unfortunately. All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone. This has been a great stream. Thank you very much for watching. I'm kidding. Let me just, um, let me actually install it first instead of just saying, you know, oh, by the way, uh, so anyways, while this is going on in the background, I'll just, uh, explain a little bit. I was watching the train simulator stream that Dovetail was running on Tehacopy. It was some fucking potato head who didn't look like he had n he had no idea what American railroading was and then we had um, Matthew P Matthew Pedelson who also has no semblance or idea of what American railroading is dovetail are nothing but shills all they do is just have no quality control barely do any research whatsoever and they think they can get away with it, too. They think that everyone's stupid. Guess what? There's people out there that are learning. All right, I forgot. This is the... The rest of... Rest of world. So I don't got the... B, I don't got the BNSF logos. DT train... Yeah, train over 10 cars is so scary. It, it, it really is a shame. It really is. And it's like, it's like people wonder, people wonder why they play other simulators and why everyone shits on Dovetail. I do apologize for not having this prepared. I was outside working on my car, replacing and, uh, replacing and installing the new, uh, ignition coil for my, uh, Civic Shibik. So anyways, I'm offline, so you'll have to forgive me. Last thing I need is people bothering me while I'm trying to stream. Okay, so anyways, let's get right into it. Where are you? Tacopy Pass. Let's see. Uh, you hit the nail right on the head, Wabash. Also, welcome. So we have here, we have the... AC4400, which to my knowledge is ripped straight from Train Sim World and just shitified. Uh, we have the BNSF ES44 DCs, which have been reused. The UP Jeep 40, which has been reused. And the UP Jeevo, which has been reused. And I can't... Alright, we're not going to play this, but help me out here. What is the point of rail fan mode? Like, is the free cam so hard? 
Anyways, we're going to do the higher priority scenario because I want to give the AC-44 a try and see how terrible it is. So, we'll get right into it. Yeah, I know, right? A Jivo and UP colors? Let's see here. Trains our best. Pacific Surfliner. Foomer mode. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty fucking much. Uh... As uh, one of my good friends, uh, Colin, says, uh, there it fucking is. Rail fan mode is for XP grinding. Of course it is. <laughs> Gee, Bill, how do you got so much XP for Trade Simulator? Uh, you know, I, sit, I stay up all day playing rail fan mode. Let's see. HBARBAK1. Oh, we're on MWCST. As an operational reminder, this train is a total of 324 axles and is 5,547 feet in length. Let's take a look at the power we have today. We have an AC-44 up front, AC-44 behind, another AC-44, and guess what? A fourth AC-44. Um, not sure why it has a five chime. Uh, Train simulators, uh, UP's AC-44s, as far as I know, don't have K-5s. But we do have a green, a yellow, so we'll get underway here. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, Christ. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. So, we are not going to use the bell. That bell is from Rail Simulator. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Yeah, it'd be good for a CSX repaint, but the thing is, this isn't CSX spec. This is UP spec. Yeah, an AC-44 enhancement would be really nice. Well, to just asking for a friend here, but... Uh, anyways, let's take a look at the cab we have here. Uh, we have the alerter reset. We have the uh, acknowledge thing. We have our buttons. We have our handles. We have our... Uh, what the hell is it called? The screen? Okay, alright, this is just me. I'm no audiophile. Why is there EMD sounds for an AC-44? It's like they mixed in GE and EMD sounds. Like, who recorded this? Oh my goodness. The EQ res bar doesn't even work. Oh yeah. Oh, it's not even mentioned, it's not even, it's not even EQ on here, it's ER. Oh my goodness. What is this, what is this traffic too? Like, hang on a minute, like, this is supposed to be modern day? Look at this fucking school bus! You got like 70s Ford pickup and you got like a Ford Crown Victoria or an LTD here as well they just like they just threw 70s vehicles on here and called it a day 
Oh yes, the burger billboards that dovetail. If you rode the train, you'd be home by now. Well, I ain't riding that train. You got me. You got me messed up. <laughs> sounds of the default 40 sounds mixed with the default ES44 sounds. I wouldn't be surprised. Although I do have to say credit where I do. At least they're trying to add a little bit of custom scenery, like you know this California billboard and this uh, auto shop. And this uh, knockoff Days Inn, I want to say. It's not a Holiday Inn, it's a Days Inn, I think. But of course, in uh, Dovetail, it's just called a uh, Motel. And the billboards are probably the most realistic thing here, yeah, let's be honest. Other than this bottle of prune juice, I I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. Uh, you know, for to okay. All right, zero out of ten. This is not what gas prices in California are. If gas is two bucks a gallon in California, then it better be fifty cents everywhere else. Ah, yes, big. Ladies and gentlemen, big. And then, of course, we have a uh, taxi. The hell is this? T S S F. Clothes for him and her. I will try my best, unlike the Arizona Divide one where I just kind of half-assed it and just said, you know, dovetail bad the end. I'm at least going to try finishing this, or at least finishing this first part. Is it just me or does the train... what is wrong with the lights? Uh, I'm not sure it would be wrong with the lights. This just looks like dovetail's handiwork. it just feels like the brightness is just like really high here I don't understand why it's odd the long hood lights are shining let me see if I can turn that off oh I did not mean to go to the back oops That dimmed the lights. Alright, so it seems I cannot uh, turn off the uh, rear light. I like how they're also trying to mimic uh, the searchlight and other developers by uh, assigning the headlight thing to have different levels of dimming. It's like, <laughs> Wow, it's 2021! You finally figured it out! Rear headlight. Off. Aha! Perfect. And there we go. The rear lights are off. I mean, granted, in fairness, it's not the worst looking model. It has nothing on the CSX AC6000. But at the same time, it's not exactly winning many good points. At least I think it has a PTC array though, but I could be wrong. I don't think that's a PTC array.
I can't believe they fell so far. CSX config Alright, so it is just straight rip from Train Sim World. I'm curious about the rail car sounds though, so we'll let those roll by. Yeah, just as I suspected. Oh, I see. <laughs> some of my Krell, Krell nut sounds are mixing in with some of these cars. <laughs> they seem to only be present in the center beams and the hoppers, though. Everything else. There's a mid-train DPU. Okay, so let's see. So we got four at the front, one in the middle, and maybe like not even like 20 or 30 cars back, another engine. So we have six engines total here. Oh, for crying out loud. Of course 7102 doesn't look like, or 7103, excuse me doesn't look like that. It's got nose number boards and low ditch lights. Why am I not surprised? Imagine my shock. Oh, this is definitely PSR, without a doubt. Ah, yes, we have some glorious uh, non-functioning wind turbines. Very nice. These look to be about, I don't know, maybe three or four polys. Is there a grade on this route? Uh, well, currently we're at 2.2%. Uh, where are we in regards to where we're going? Okay, so our goal is to get to here at Rowan, northbound track two, so we have to go through all these curves and through Wollong and uh, the loop. We currently are here, so it's still gonna be a little bit of time. Yeah. Part of me does want to examine the other equipment, but at the same time, there's just no need to. I mean, there really isn't because, you know, it's going to be the same recycled sounds, it's going to be the same recycled physics and model and everything. Like... Oh, what the hell? I did that. What? Oh. I'm a little carried away with my keybinds, sorry. But, like... <laughs> I'm trying to think of a clever joke here. Forgive me. I honestly think that, like, you know, all those, all those environmental organizations and those green companies need to take a leaf out of Dovetail's book. Dovetail, <laughs> Dovetail are the masters of recycling. Like, forget, forget all the e-recyclers, forget those people that make, uh, houses... Forget the people that make houses out of shipping containers. This is the real recycling job here. Because, you know, God forbid. Who needs, to who needs to make custom and unique content unique to the route itself? Just recycle it. Ah. You know, Dovetail's nay naysayers will say that, you know, but it's an AC-44. It's, it's new. It's different. Yeah, it is. If you haven't played Train Sim World, then it's definitely different. Or better yet, you can get... Or better, you could get an AC-44 that isn't shit. It's called the Searchlight Simulations Canadian Pacific AC-4400. Yeah, exactly. It's nothing new. Not even... Hey, also, was that SP... 
Oh, that was oh that was you that was asking about that. Um, yes, the uh, the Southern Pacific patched engine. Yes, the uh, the Southern Pacific patched engine that you saw in the uh, the glory days. Um, to my knowledge, I'm guessing it's just the UP detector milepost three seven seven point zero. No defects. Total axle three two four. Temperature six zero degrees. Detector out. Goodbye, thank you for coming. Alright, anyways, um, to answer your question, uh, Wabash Railfan, as opposed to the other Wabash Railfan in here, the Wabash Railfan with the W as their icon, uh, to answer your question, it was either just the ice or just the cold of it, just blocked the horn valve and it was stuck open. It was definitely stuck open, but they seemed to get it unstuck after they got past us, but when they came past us in Swanton, it was definitely stuck. Hopefully that uh, answers your question. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. In fairness, Searchlight Simulations does have a defect detector, but you have to add it in, and I'm not going to add in a defect detector every place that this place is. But yes, it should be like running. We just need to put some uh, some radio audio and some uh, fake detector audio, and we should be good. And we also you know, every every time you go into the cab, the uh, oh, okay, that makes sense. Every time you go into the cab, it recycles the same uh, radio audio, so you'll hear. Uh, I'm trying to think of what the lines is like. It's like, uh, hey Al, you there? Or something like that. Like someone calling out to someone else over the radio. You would think for a game that charges like fifty bucks. You would expect there to be some sort of quality control and just quality in terms of audio. Okay, uh, let's 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 take this in for a second. We are on the outskirts of somewhere. What happened to your sky? It actually looks decent. I don't know. Yeah, we are on the outskirts of Mojave. This is a, you know, this is a major rail line. We've seen no train meets. And then we have this highway. Count how many lanes there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six lane highway. Absolutely empty. They couldn't bother programming traffic. Even trains! Even trains puts traffic by default! What's so hard? Listen, Wabash, with all due respect, I started this stream with the intent to absolutely lambaste and shit on this. That's the same reason why I did that, uh... It's the same reason why I did that Arizona Divide stream. Because the fact that something, something like this can slip through quality control. Something that can slip through beta testing. It's... Ugh... It just, it, it blows my mind. It makes you think, what were people thinking? That's the real question. But, you know, I, you know, I digress. I gotta stop hating on this so much. But at the same time... Hang on a minute, I got to, uh... I'm never, I'm never gonna be able to spell to Hackaby correctly, but, um, I think one of the things that me and some friends in a Discord server noticed when the uh, initial screenshots of to Hackaby came out, we were surprised at how green it was. To Hackaby is not green. It's more like this color palette that you're seeing right here, but the ones we saw, that shit was green. That is not what I meant to do. Let's see. Yeah, the route is too... The route is too... Well, yeah. Like, there was actually screenshots that just showed that it was green! Let me see if I can uh, demonstrate. Give me a second. Yeah. 
this load. This is legit one of the screenshots they provided. Please show me somewhere on Tehacopy to where it is this green. Oh my goodness. It, it, it just you know it, it just you know as Martin says it just it doesn't seem real like for example here here's another image this is normally what Tehacopy looks like a nice mixture of browns and oranges but instead it's just green I can't show that oh well You're excited for the Kane Creek route? Uh, I mean, you know, hey, more power to you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That UP licensing is... <laughs> that UP licensing is quite literally probably what's holding... Holding, you know, Dovetail's grasp on North American content together. Because they have the licensing, and Union Pacific's all more than happy to do it. They'll milk this thing till the cows come home. And you got smart people like BNSF that are very picky with their licensing and don't want their name being dragged through the mud. You know, Martin, I wish I could answer that question, but frankly, I don't know. I don't know why UP would allow this. Yeah, pretty much. It, it it is it is just that it's it's just that meme with Mr. Krabs where it's like, "Hey, I like money." You know, I actually kind of want to look on the mini map and see if we're actually going to, you know, meet a train, which is, you know, the reason why God gave us two tracks instead of one. No, instead I'm following behind one. H B A R B A K 1. How about give me a train in the opposite direction? That'd be great. There is none. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, man. So... <laughs> oh, my God. This is absolutely terrible. All right, I forgot to turn the headlights off and on. Yeah, these auto racks that have been around since the dawn of time. No updates, no upgrades whatsoever. Really makes you think. Really makes you think. You know what? I'm going to cheat a little bit. Because, frankly, I don't want to continue this. I'm not going to kill the stream. I'm just going to open up the route and we're just going to skip to the uh, the main selling point of Tehacopy. Which is, you know, the loop. So, give me a second here. Let's see. Bakersfield, Kern, Cliff, Rowan, Wallong.
you know, Wabash, it's better said than done. Dovetail ain't gonna listen to their community. In fact, when I was pointing out these flaws earlier... Yeah. In fact, when I was, um, pointing out these flaws earlier... The, uh... Why is there a standard rail fan mode scenario and two career scenarios? Who knows? Anyways, here here's Walong, here's Stackapy. Yeah. yeah, but the thing is, when I was like commenting on uh, their stream earlier, Dovetails, you know, ass kissers they have for mods, just uh, kept responding to me with, uh, you know, if you have a problem and you you'd be better off submitting it to the uh, forums here in the technical issue section instead of complaining here in the chat. No, won't let people know how terrible it is. They can suck one. Anyways, let's take a look at the uh, rolling stock we have here. So, for starters, we have the UP AC44 and, of course, a uh, non driver version. Yeah, the uh, double tracking at Wolong is uh, nice. Uh, next thing we have here is center beam, and then we have, of course, the Kuju stack cars. We have the uh, UPSD 70A, so I'll have to give that a try. And, of course, we have the UPS 44 AC, looking just like it came out of Sherman Hill years ago. Oh, wait, because it did. Uh, then we have GP40-2 in both cold and dark and running formats. Oh, Lord Almighty. And, of course, we have all the other normal stuff. Hmm. Alright, well, let's play around with this for a second here. Ooh, we're already off to a good start. I recognize those sounds. Oh, for... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what is that bell? Terrible. Ah, yes, I love it. I love it. It's perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it! I love it! Oh my god, Dovetail, this is fucking horrible! Oh my god! Oh my god! How can they get away with this? That's... That's what I want to know. How can they get away with this? This shit, you know, it, it's probably me, it's probably me being fickle and picky, but would it kill someone to at least try, because this feels like false advertising, I know it isn't, and that's, you know, it's stupid to throw around legal words like that, but it really seems like false advertising. I know it's a terrible thing to do, you know, <laughs> Let us Hmm. Hang on a minute. <clears throat> oh, oh, forgive me. But 
mean, in fairness, in fairness, it, it the route is passable to a degree. I mean, I mean, oh yeah, the BNSF ES44. I forgot to um, I forgot to enable it. Uh, forgive me. Uh, so we have uh, the BNSF ES44 AC. You'll have to forgive me. I have the uh, rest of world version, so you won't be seeing the logos here. But uh, it's basically just the BNSF. Yeah, it's not. It's 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 a separate uh, asset box you have to tick. It's not with the um, Takapi one, which is you know that's not great, but. There really isn't much I can say about this. There really isn't. <laughs> uh, just to give you an idea, here's the uh, the 44 DC, just as a uh, example here. Actually, no. I think it'd be better if I actually compare it with the um, Stevens Pass one. Instead of the uh, DC. Tehachapi. 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 Okay. Uh... Okay. Anyways, boot this up real quick. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not good. Yeah. It's not terrible. It's not great. But, you know. It's, <laughs> but, you know, who am I to judge? I'm just a detractor. I'm a negative Nancy. I got nothing good to say about it. Let's just th let's throw a consus together, and let's see. Let's do eighty hoppers. Oh yeah, don't even get me started on the Kansas route. That thing is. It it ain't great. <laughs> That's all I can say. It ain't great. It'll be like Pentrax, this will be the uh, the ultimate to ha to hatch yeah, Of course, trains on the wrong side. So <laughs> Come join come join us and what in the world is happening with that train? Magic. <laughs> come join us with Pentrax as we explore the ultimate to Hachapi. To Hachapi. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep screwing up. You'll have to forgive me for. I'm just so used to saying Tehachapi instead of Tehachapi. It's gonna. Oh, it's gonna uh, run away at my conscience. Yeah, don't let Buzz backstep. Fuck that guy. He's an out of touch boomer. That's all he is. I, I hate Buzz Baxter. I really do. He can't ha he He's just as bad. He is just as bad as the Dovetail people. He can't accept criticism. And his response to things is just to pawn it off on someone else. Let someone else deal with it. Mm, not my problem. <sighs> it just makes me want to... I can't say much. I'm live. It just... it. It irritates me. Let's just leave it at that. It is an irritation of the mind and body. That's really all I can say. Uh, 
like, like you know, it. I get what they're trying to do. They're trying, but at the same time, they're not. They're not trying. Like the bar is set so low, and they can't even hit the bar. Ugh. Sorry, I'm. I apologize for the failure of my passion, the anger of my passion. We're going to go old school because I can. Where's my 40s? Oh yeah, Dovetail is definitely losing. Yeah, the bar is on the ground and they can't even trip over it. That it that really is that really does you know, that really does say it. It really does. Uh, hang on a minute. I think I have the United Way. Oh, without a doubt, it'll be in the content bundle. Without a doubt. I swear I have the thing. Uh, maybe I don't. Mm. But I did. Eh, oh well. It's gonna be trailing power anyways. <laughs> uh do a quick run through here. I think four forty should be enough. At least in my opinion. But you know, I'm no I'm no I'm no railroad expert. Quadruplet of 40s. Yeah, we don't need helpers. We don't need, we do not need helpers. We die like men. We do not need helpers. We die like men. Alright, where is my EOT? Safety first. You know, part of me does want to give British stuff a chance, but you know, it's it it ain't worth it, honestly. Something a little more appropriate for our descent through Tehachapi. Tehachapi, for fuck's sake, I'm gonna keep screwing this up. This is gonna be fun because I'm gonna be throwing this thing in dynamics the whole time. Fix the headlights and the searchlight enhancements. No idea what you're talking about, Chief.
I just want to very, very slowly let out the throttle. Let the rest of the train catch up and slack, and then kick it into idle. Dynamics kick in. slowing down. Oh, now they kick in. Yeah, whatever. Anyways. the dynamics want to kick in and slow everything down. Is there any EMD howl on these engines? Oh. I sure as hell hope so. They're searchlight. did the dynamics. Seems like these dynamics only have one setting, on and off. Either that or I've, or either that or I've drastically underpowered my train. Again. But you know. Not the end of the world to be honest, if we derail, we derail. I guess you can say we're. I guess you can say we're uh, speed running to Hatchapi. I'll be honest. In fairness, you know the loop doesn't look too bad. And, you know, other than that, I. I don't know. I feel like this would be something to be better backdated than modern era. Now, I'm not saying that modern era to Hackapy is, you know, bad. It isn't.
<laughs> any percent notch eight, yeah, pretty much. Any percent notch eight. We are hard in the dynamics. I'm not good at dynamic breaks, but, um, yeah. You know what? Let's do, let's, let's do a little bit of XP grinding. Let's do rail fan while long to, to hatch a B loop. We'll, uh, We'll we'll end on that. That'll be our uh, end to the stream today. I know I was actually gonna put effort in trying to do this instead of half-assing it like the Arizona one, but I just don't have the drive for it. This is absolutely terrible. What the hell? Okay, hold on. Use various cameras to photograph passing trains by pressing Control S on the keyboard. Oh God, what am I doing? Control S. Okay. Let's see. I have a BNSF train there. Oh, you have to blend the brakes and the dynamics. Oh, hey, there's a there's a train coming here. Here we'll we'll be our our rail fan hotspot at uh, Walong. Oh, you have to be kidding me right now. <laughs> oh my god. The headlights are actually on on every engine. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, here comes the BNSF already. Ooh, check it out! They have differently colored containers. We now have black and pseudo beige containers. All right, variety, difference. It isn't. So here we go. We're we're atop we're atop the loop at Wollong. Well, we're atop the loop at Wollong as a Burlington Northern Santa Fe train comes down to wait for our passing Union Pacific train. Oh yeah, exactly. The first ever train meet here on this route. Route, excuse me. Oh, here we go. All right, so here we go. Three aces up front. Three more on the back. What is this motive power? Three aces on the front. Three aces on the back. That's that ain't right. But again, what is right other than maybe this loop?
other than that, I really don't know what is right and what is wrong. Oh my goodness. Hello, Eris. Welcome to the stream. Make yourself at home. Oh, man. Well, it is unfortunate that uh, if you go back to your cab view, the camera will begin to tilt. Oh, it does! <laughs> wow, it's, it's like I'm actually here! And look, I got blindsided by a train! This is such a great scenario. Okay, you know, I... Forgive me if this is insensitive, and I don't like to speak ill of people who have actual problems, but... What rail fan just, like, shakes and vibrates like this? Like, is there an, is there an earthquake going on? You know, forgive me for my insensitivity, but that can't be right. What, G heads G style signals on a on a UP line? <laughs> well you're not gonna believe this. Uh is Michael J. Fox holding the camera? Uh, <laughs> I got nothing to say about that. <laughs> Oh, man. God, this rail fan, you might feel minor vibrations, but... Yeah, but minor vibrations, you'd feel that if you were, like, right next to the damn thing. I mean, oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so... My final thoughts. <clears throat> My f final thoughts about Tehachapi Pass. Tehachapi Pass, I'm going to fucking throw my head through a plate glass window if I keep screwing that up. What? Oh, 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 oh. The fault is moving in rail fan mode. I, uh... Okay. Anyways, to Hatcher P, my final thoughts. It, honestly, guys, it's just, it's Dovetail's flavor of the week. It really is. You know, I could be recycling. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> a little bit of gas. <clears throat> it's a Dovetails flavor of the week. It really is. That's really all I can say. It's nice that they have an AC44, but it's copy-pasted from Train Sim World right down to the CSX PTC arrays, to the K5LA, to the fact that really whoever was in charge of this did a half-assed job and it really shows that dovetail is really honestly martin has a point if they keep this up they're gonna lose what little is left of their north american market and they're gonna move and the north american market's gonna move on to something else like trains or god forbid run eight it probably only did take him a week to make it my personal opinion if you want to get the route get the route i think the route in places is decent and passable there are places where i think a lot of improvements could be made to better you know make it feel alive is there a discord server for this channel no there isn't and i'm not going to make 
a Discord server for my channel. I already have enough trouble keeping track of my own personal Discord. So, unfortunately, that is not going to be the case. But personally, if you want to get the route, get the route. If you're getting it just for asset collecting or because you're... The depraved mind thinks that, you know, if I don't have the latest and greatest thing, I'm going to be left behind. Do that. Me, personally, I don't like it. I think that using so much recycled content is just turning what used to be a colorful palette of rolling stock into a slow sort of gray mishmash of everything. I want to say that they did put some effort into it by at least trying to make things somewhat correct, but, you know, it's... It's a band-aid on... You know, it's, it's a band-aid on a burst artery. You know, it might do something for you in the beginning, but at the end of the day, it just... It, it doesn't do it for me. You know, there's going to be mods that'll come out that'll try fixing this stuff. There'll be people trying to make this stuff work with searchlight enhancements that might, you know, better enhance the experience, but... You want to know something? There's a route. That takes place in a turbulent part of California. That's high challenge. And takes a lot of skill to run a train through it. And it's been around with us since the beginning of time. And it's called Cajon Pass. Other than that... I really don't have much else to say. My bottom line is, if you want to get the route, get the route. This is just my personal take and my personal opinion on it. I know I'm going to get naysayers in the comments like I did with the Arizona Divide one, and I'm more than ready to uh, take those comments and just respond to them with you know, something stupid. But with streams like this, all I want to do is just open up people's eyes. Take off the blinders and see just in some places how badly you're getting fucked by this. And I know that's a strong word to use and I know it's a strong statement. But I've been playing since Rail Simulator. I still have my original copy of Rail Simulator. When I switched back to Train Simulator after being in trains for such a long time, you know, I just kind of dealt with the fact that, you know, this content was, you know, okay. I was a, t I was a stupid teenager. <laughs> I had more important things on my mind, like filming trains. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> the route really won't get better. It really won't. But, no. my final words, if you want to get the route, get the route. If you don't want to get it, don't get it. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this stream. Um, at some point, I'll make the VOD public so people can read it or whatever. Other than that, I <laughs> I really don't have anything else to say. I will say this, though. I'm kind of glad that I've finished with uh, the glory days. <laughs> oh, man, that was a project and a half. Anyways, that's going to do it for me tonight. Thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate your comments, and I appreciate the feedback and the conversation I've been having with all of you. Until then... Have a very good rest of your day and have a great weekend.